Oh, I, I stood up into it, man. I stood I, again. I, 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 every time I talk about demon flip, the, the one, this, it's not, it's not even that scary of a move. I promise. You just have to not stand up into it. Bonk. There you go. Demon flip is really not that scary, man. You just have to not be a complete idiot like I am, which unfortunately I oftentimes am a complete idiot. All right, folks, and we are back for more Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising action for you here on the road to number one. And uh, we're still, this is, it's Thursday for you guys, I think, but we're still on the, uh, on the grinding for City of Mayhem, uh, or preparing for City of Mayhem, uh, part of my, of my week. It's Tuesday still. This is being recorded on the same day, right after the video from yesterday. And though uh, we still got lots of killers coming in here, preparing for City of Mayhem, and one of those being, of course, Hippolas here. Very strong fairy. Ow. And, uh, the, my, my goal is going to be to try and understand what the hell is going on in this fairy matchup. I have an idea now for this fairy matchup, right? In the sense that I, I feel like I have a way of building meter. It's just like more so once I have 50 meter, I still don't really know what to do, right? That helps every now and then. Of course, you can crush fairy's whip with 5H, right? Every now and then it can be a decent option for you, but it's still, it's still like, it's not like it's a guaranteed thing, right? Yeah, and obviously you can get whiff punished very, I mean, it's, you, you can do it to like represent the option, make her, make her try to have to respect it, right? You notice, by the way, he's not throwing out GG when I have 50 meter. It's because that is very punishable by Ladiva. Oh, nice. If the fairy has 50 meter. But right there, you see actually one of the things that Ladiva can kind of do in this matchup, right? Thoughts on this? Yeah, nice, 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 nice. That is frame zero after the flash. I, I almost got uh, tricked by that in the Inochi first attend. But no, so I think I just did it too early when she was still in her wake up uh, throw invincibility. But yeah, that is one thing, that Fairy's anti-air options are not very strong. Yeah, so that's air unblockable, and then her, uh, but only the EX version of that, actually, believe it or not. That's air unblockable, and then her 2H is, or sorry, her, uh, some of her normals are air unblockable. But everything else, like her 2H, for example, is air blockable, right? So, that is one thing where you can kind of do an air approach against Fairy, and she, can, she tried to catch me with 5M on the way down there, you saw, but it just, like, it didn't quite work out for her, right? Oh, yeah, we could have punished that with ultimate cool. Actually, no, on, on the knockdown, I don't think so, I don't think so. But yeah, so yeah, that's that's like her only basically. That's not what I meant to do. And you see how they still spot dodge? They saw the blue because they were they were very aware that that was going to be an option that I was going to try for sure. Okay. But yeah, GG there on reaction unless it's EX or ultimate GG is punishable by ultimate clothesline. Oh, okay, okay, little little. Oh, but not not on knockdown there because yeah, they, they have a little bit too many plus frames. I get hit by the GG. Of course, 2H will still work if you're in if you're doing a normal like I just did there, right? But if you if you're if you're jumping at GG if you're empty jumping at fairy, you actually can air block it, right? So she has to time it and try to catch you with like that, but then you saw at the end of the last round, right, Hippolas actually got caught out for that because they did it a little too, uh, a little too early, right? And I punished them for it. Oh, you know what? I actually was, I actually didn't need to brave counter right away there. I, they actually didn't, uh, they didn't quite spot dodge it fast enough. I got counter hit there. If I blocked, that would have been safe. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunate stuff to be sure. Okay, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Ow, my bad. I was unfamiliar with your game. But yeah, walking back, walking forward here, and trying to build some meter, jumping every now and then to try and build some meter. Right? Oh, that's not what we want to do. Honestly, that 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 wolf there was great. That like protected me from from GG a little bit. It made me so I didn't land I because uh, landing on GG like I almost did there would have been oh god a nightmare. Okay, okay, we couldn't we can't quite close line off of that. Fair enough. Oh, see, so yeah, this is exactly what you don't want is you don't want to have to deal with the GG 50-50, right? One of Fairy's main points, yeah, one of the things that Fairy is really going to want to try to do is try to force you to interact with GG, force you to block with GG so that then she can run her 50-50 on you, right? And it is, it's like, it's like a lose condition for Ladiva, I feel like. Um, so I, I need to be much more careful, like one of the top priority things in this matchup to be making sure that we never have to, we, are, we never have to, yeah, like this right here where GG's like right next to me like this, that's, that's like nightmare scenario. We don't want that at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, but again, see, he's not super comfortable stopping our air approach there. I, I couldn't uh, cancel my 6-6-L fast enough into throw there, or at the very least, if I, if I was able to do it, I didn't manage it. Or if it's something that could have been done, I didn't do it, basically. I'm not sure. GG. Yeah. Uh, actually, that one I think we actually could have punished. But yeah, jump, jump away. Just, like, trying to do your, do your best to not interact with GG. Oh, no, like this? This is off. Oh, you got pulled in. Oh, but I wasn't blocking for some reason. Okay, I just wasn't. I, I, I was holding forward instead of back, maybe. That's so unfortunate. I, I, I had a good situation there. We're actually getting pulled in there with having, with having full SSBA. Actually, wouldn't have been so bad, right? But I just decided not to block. It happens sometimes. Your brain goes, what if I lost? And you go, that's a great idea, brain. Okay, there you go. Get grabbed. That 2H being air blockable is not so... It's, it's pretty nice, right? Again, the air approach is one of the main ways you can sort of try to survive here as a diva. Also, Fairy's definitely looking to... Uh, to Yeah, he's definitely looking to brave counter you off of her when she doesn't have 50 meter, right? So just like doing the meaty throw is not such a bad idea. It's a little too close for comfort there. Oh, okay. Okay. I see you. Uh, this is gonna catch the recovery? No. Okay. No, there's no, there's no such thing. I was like, I was like trying to be really... I was coping. I was like, wait, what if... Like, I'm, I'm doing at the end of the spot dodge here. Is there anything I can do? And the answer is still no, but... Oh! Oh, I could've converted that into headbutts. Actually, I think I had headbutts, didn't I? Okay. 
eat this. Bonk. There we go. We're in again. Use the brave point. That's kind of like her brave points are almost more important than her life bar in this matchup. That's how many times I have to get in. Oh my god, just barely, just barely was GG close enough there. Okay, okay, hold on. Get away from me. Get 6-6-H. Six, six, I'll take that DP, I suppose. Worst things have happened when people expect me to 6-6-H six, six, at them. Oh, there you go. We crushed the... We, we didn't crush it. We punished it, I suppose. It's still, it's not like a perfect anti-air option, for sure. You'd rather your 2-H not be air blockable if you were fairy. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Holy crap. So that was ultimate GG that she threw out there, right? But we did the clothesline, basically. Uh, we did, we did, I just clothesline a neutral to try and cast him off guard. And I kind of worked because we did it early enough that I just straight up beat out the, uh, the, the GG didn't have time to come out and fully, fully do her, her, his thing there, right? Ultimate GG is a heat seeking missile sent from hell to kill big bodies, right? But we actually did manage to uh, survive that, which I'll gladly take. I'll grab you there. Uh, she has DP right now. I don't think I care. DP me. I, I really don't. Oh, okay. Well, that's even worse. I'd rather you didn't have to, I'd rather you, you at least had to spend 50 meter to get out of this tell hole. Oh man, that's bad. Uh, I guess on the bright side, because I kind of mashed there, I didn't lose my brave point. They lost a brave point and I didn't, right? So that's something. Okay, my bad. Oh, that's nice, nice timing there to catch me with the two and, oh, that's not gonna be good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GG, the, the light GG, I think is, is that one, right? And I think it's a little, it's a little harder for us to actually do anything about, get grab nerd. It's because he, he doesn't go quite as high in the air, right? So timing is a little bit tighter on when you can and can't uh, ultimate clothesline through that. But yeah, still still worked out there. We find, again, when Ladiva finds her way in in this matchup, Fairy is, like, miserable, right? It just, like, this, I think, is probably the hardest matchup. To, like, it's this or Uno. One of them is the hardest matchup for Ladiva to actually find her way in. in. That one's way more punishable with ultimate clothesline, right? That, that when, Fairy, when 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 is going that high in the air, that one is way more punishable. Whoa. Oh, wait, no, this is horrible. We don't want to land on... Yeah, yeah, that's not what we want to do. Landing on ultimate GG there is... Oh, yeah, fair enough. I guess that's pretty... I don't know if a lot of Ladivas do that. I definitely do that a lot. Oh, nice. The spot dodge there. I thought after the spot dodge, it was my turn, but I waited a little too long to hit a button. And I got murdered for my troll. I tried to jump on wake up there just to, like, avoid GG, and it was it was a fool's errand. I should have... At that point, I had to just try and hold the mix. Jumping was a guarantee... I guess uh, with how many plus frames there that Hippo had, jumping was a guaranteed death, actually. Right. They could have done low or high and it would have hit me, but I thought maybe there would be enough time. There was not enough time. Narrators, nope. Okay, brave. That's actually getting a brave counter off of fairy this early on is really not so bad. Get clotheslines, nerd. Get grab. No, my timing. I was a little too uh, ambitious, a little too early with it, unfortunately. Okay, ultimate uh, DP there is actually kind of fine for us. Worst things have happened, and now she doesn't have that meter to potentially ask the problem. It's, it's sort of a mix, right? If, if I think she's not going to 2H, I jump H to try and crush the, the far M. If I think she is going to 2H, right, I have to empty jump. But if I empty jump, it's easier for her to beat me out with far, a, a, a far M there. You can't air block that. I should have done ultimate, to be honest with you. I should have done ultimate clothesline for actually even more reward there. Oh, GG. Why you got to do this to me, man? I thought we were cool. That's minus as a hell. It's not like punishable, but it's my turn for sure. Oh no, this is horrible. Yeah, now this is officially, this this round has gotten into uh, very, very difficult to actually win territory. Oh, I just wasn't blocking. I was crouching on wake up there. I felt it too. That one I actually felt in my hands. I was holding down and not down back there on the analog stick. That's, that's heartbreaking stuff, unfortunately. But okay, okay. I think the idea of like, so one of the main things that I was confused about in the fairy matchup prior was how do you build meter safely in this matchup? I think I found it. I really, I think it really is because fairy does not do a whole lot of chip damage to you, right? Unlike Matera. So you can just take a long time on the other side of the screen there, walking back and forth, jumping right every now and then, walking forward a little bit to build up to 50 meter, and then you can play the matchup a little bit more effectively, right? The problem with fairy is that unlike with Matera, where once you have the meter, or unlike with Matera and a lot of other zoners, like uh, once you have the meter, it gets, that's Luca. Unlike, unlike with Matera, once you have the meter, it gets a lot more playable. Even with the meter, it's still kind of difficult to punish, uh, to get in on Fairy. Right, because Ultimate Clothesline works on GG, but on the light GG, it's incredibly tight. And they usually don't do the medium GG unless they have a big knockdown. Oh, it's J-Man. Okay, okay, let's, let's try this again. Let's try this again. We fought them in the last video. It was uh, today for me, but yesterday for you guys. Let's see if we can do it. They, they completely evaporated us. Let's see if we can do a little bit better here than just getting 2-0. Um, yeah, the, the fairy matchup, oh, okay, the fairy matchup, I have a, I definitely, I think I have a better idea now of what, oh god, of what I should be doing, right, it's just that, it's, that, that game plan is just still, like, really hard to execute, and it's still, like, it's probably, I, I, I the more I fight, actually, uh, fairy, the more I'm like, okay, that's actually Ladiva's worst matchup, like, it's, it's even worse, it's, like, the worst zoner matchup for her, I would, I would say, bonk, bonk, like, that's, uh, like, Cagliostro is bad, for sure, Matera is bad, right, for sure, it's, but, like, they just don't have, they don't, they don't have it, like, fairy does, like, once, once, oh, nice, I should be. I missed my. Okay, I was gonna say I missed my conversion last time that I punished the J-Man super, and looks like I'm doing the same thing again. I should have gotten a big conversion off of that, but for some reason, I don't know why. I'm just like I get the jump you, and I just don't know how to convert off of it. Very sad stuff. 
But like, even once uh, Lediva gets the meter, the, the CAG and the Fairy matchup become a lot more bearable, and building meter in those is a lot easier because of the headbutting projectiles. But it, against Fairy, it's still just like a, a nightmare scenario. Man. Oh, okay, I get, I'm gonna get 2U for my trouble. That's fair. I guess I'll, I'll spend the Brave Point for my trouble. I mistimed it for my trouble. I'm doing everything wrong. Heartbreaking stuff. Oh, the, the delayed headbutt. Nice. The mind virus. Um, what the heck? Okay, sure. I don't, I don't know about this whole conversion. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I, I, you know, they delayed it there, so I was like, if they're gonna delay it again, I'm gonna try to match. And I guess I can't? At the very least, if I can, I did it too. Maybe I should. I needed to do it earlier, All right? Is maybe the uh, the answer there? There you go. Don't do not do your uh, your SPDs too early. That's definitely been my downfall so far. I figured that time they would mash to try and beat an SPD. Um, this is, like, not the worst, right? I mean, we could still... We, we, we could we could potentially still be in a pretty good position here uh, if we get, like, one more SPD. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for SPD on Wake Up, by the way. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, because I figured J-Man has shown me before that they really do like doing... Um, what's it called there? They like they like doing uh, that thing. Their Dark Soul. You know what I'm talking about. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, okay. They like doing ultimate headbutt, definitely, on, on Wake Up as a reversal relatively often, at least in the set that we played uh, earlier today, or yesterday for you guys. Right? So I was like, ah, I think I can I think I can possibly get something off of uh, Command Grab here. It would beat ultimate headbutt, of course, right? Uh, besides ultimate is beating blocking. So I was like, it seemed like it seemed like a, a good overall option for me. Oh. Nice. Oh, I didn't have clothesline. That's how I actually did. Normally my problem is like, I, I don't think that I can convert Far M into clothesline, so I forget to do it. That time I actually did think about it, but I, just, I didn't actually have the cooldown. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. This should be a dead, this should be a dead game, Am here. And there's our, our, I think this is the first time, this will be the first game that I've ever taken off of them. If, okay, if I was gonna say, if I don't miss the conversion. It's a really easy conversion, right? But again, my, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to call anything before it was actually done. But wonderful, wonderful. There you go. There's a there's a, a win on like a top Ladiva for sure. Like one of the one of the I mean this is the second highest ranked Ladiva on the leaderboard, I'm pretty sure. So I'm very happy to hear this. Though of course again the Ladiva mirror is just it's it's very strange, right? It really it's like it, the Ladiva mirror is like a 7-3 matchup for whichever Ladiva currently has the other one in the corner, right? He does like doing that a lot, I'll tell you what. They really like two Ewing out of pressure. That's something that I've noticed and something I'm, I'm, starting, I'm starting to be a little bit more aware of, and I'm trying to uh, starting to try to punish them for it. I'll get spd I suppose. I've earned it. It's, uh, it's my my fault. Uh, this is not gonna work. No, they're out of- oh god, they're out of reach, and I tried to Brave Counter as a panic preemptively. I got blown up for it. Uh-oh. Well, on the bright side, again, me mashing there means that I didn't quite lose a Brave Point for it, at least. So now, like, they're at three Brave Points, or I'm, I'm at three Brave Points, and they're at one. Oh, they're just throwing me over and over, though. Not like this, man. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Oh, they tried it. It didn't work, but they tried it. They tried to, to, to call me out with the air SPD, right? Okay, there you go. They should be dead this time for sure. I didn't miss this conversion like I have been over and over. Bonk, bonk. I did two lights there because I didn't trust the close M. The close M only has one active frame. So sometimes that juggle uh, out of anything can be a little inconsistent with it. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but I knew they were going to be dead anyway there. So I used the four uh, active frames on close L as a bit of insurance there, potentially. I'm going to run up and grab you. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're cooking. I'm cooking. He's cooking. Let him cook. Get okay. Fair enough. Brave counter. I'm jumping and I'm dying for it. I can't believe it. I hate it here. Whoa, that's an interesting little conversion there. Two. I, I don't think I've ever done that. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Once again, using ultimate headbutt as a uh, very clever reversal option there. Oh, oh, I didn't punish that. That's like so minus. It's like minus twenty on block, man. Let alone on whiff. I just did. I just did a stupid, unfortunately. Oh, right. <laughs> right. You can't. You can't block that. Oh God. Oh, this is scary. What do you guys think? Wake up SSBA? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I've hit them with it a couple times before, but they were they were very ready for it that time. Fair, fair, fair. I I, I had to I, I went for the uh, the hard call out that they weren't gonna respect it, but no, no. Again, just like I've been doing a little bit of adapting to J Mam over the since the last set, I've hit them with that wake up SSBA a couple of times and they were very ready for it. Any two viewers? Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I actually I actually crouching headbutt and actually or clothesline rather and actually punishing it. That beat two you. Sad stuff. I got oh god. I got uh, crushed there, I think, by 2U, and now I'm getting ultimate SPD in a way that I really don't appreciate. It makes me feel very sad about myself. Nice, the double close L, paying dividends there. I'm going to do clothesline into, oh, I wanted to do that into, uh, oh no, oh no. I wanted to do that into far M, into, into super there to fix my brave point situation a little bit. I did not manage it. Oh god, not like this. This is scary. We're officially in, in, in scary territory. Oh, we're officially in I'm dead territory is where we're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Enough. All right. All right. Let's see who takes the the game three then. Yeah. I, I both times there. Like I definitely went. Like the second SSBA. The idea was you punished me for the first SSBA. You're not gonna think you you're gonna assume that I'm gonna adapt. You assume I'm not gonna be stupid. You're gonna you're gonna you know try and switch up your your offense. No, I was not gonna do it. And they they unfortunately did hard call out that I wasn't gonna do it. Uh. So I got I got blown up there. Yeah. Grabner. 
Okay, once again, the Lodiva, the Lodiva Mirror is basically, it's a 7-3 it's for whichever Lodiva currently, whichever Lodiva uh, currently has the turn, right? Okay. Okay. Ow, I jumped, and I, it was a very silly idea of me. Bonk, and bonk, and a jump? No. Oh, 2M, that's minus. I should have, I should have uh, mashed on that. I should not have respected that as a uh, as an option. Okay, brave counter, understandable. Uh, that was not what I meant to do at all, but I guess I did the technical input accidentally. I wanted to do I wanted to go into headbutts, but my my sort of messy inputs there led me to uh, to ruin. Uh oh, get away from me! I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I think they're gonna ultimate clothesline at me. Yeah, they're trying to snipe my legs out and then go uh, into that thing. Their dark soul. Oh oh no! Get away from me! God damn the raging strike reared her back, right? So she ended up, uh, I, I think that's why the Brave Counter missed anyway. I think the Raging Strike, I, it feels like Raging Strike is a slight hurt box shift sometimes. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, no bonks. I've been, I've been out bonked. I've been, I'm, I'm, I'm fresh out of bonks, unfortunately. Bonk, bonk. Okay, Brave Counter. Understandable. I tried to jump out of that to no avail. Oh my god, Ultimate Clothesline is a little faster than, than EX Clothesline, I suppose. That's a, that's a silly little, uh, silly little happening there. To be sure. Oh man, I got my Brave Counter baited. And now I'm in some serious pain for it, unfortunately. Some very serious pain for it. Ultimate, this ultimate clothesline conversion that they're doing, I don't really understand it. Is it a safe jump, maybe? Maybe it's a safe jump, right? That might be the uh, the idea behind that. It doesn't seem like one to me, but I also don't know the frame data because they're whiffing something there, which makes you think they're trying to auto-time something. I guess I guess that's probably it, huh? But I, I guess it must be a safe jump setup of some kind. It's like, it's like, it's not good damage, but I don't know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Like I said before, they have shown me that they've liked doing that. I'm still alive. What do you guys think? 50-50, they, uh, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess, strike, they did grab. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I should have been a little bit more aware of the fact that they, I, I, I punished them for the U headbutt the one time, but then after that I let them get away with it a little bit too much, I think. But still, I think we, we played that Ladiva Mirror, that's probably like the best play Ladiva Mirror we've ever had, right? So that's, I'll definitely take it, I'll definitely take it. Though it'll take a little bit more uh, experience before like, you know, feeling consistently, like I still don't feel very comfortable in that mirror, right? Like I, I was talking about before how like, I feel comfortable in like the Matera matchup in the sense that I know what I'm trying to do. I know what I must do. I know what's right. I know what's wrong. It's just a matter of actually executing on it. I'm not there with Ladiva yet. Hey, it's Blast Amber. What's up, dog? He's been trying to snipe me on ranked forever now. He finally got it. Okay, well, this is... I was talking about how uh, Fairy might be uh, Ladiva's worst matchup. This is probably number two. So, we, we, well, you know, we shall see. We shall see. We, sh we shall do our best. But again, just like any bad matchup for Ladiva, if she just gets in, uh, things can go very well for her very quickly. Bonk. So, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and just uh, live by that philosophy. Get grabs, nerd. Blast Tamper. What, what are you going to do, brother? What are, what are you going to do? Okay, he, he, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't crack. He didn't guess, uh, he didn't guess grab again. Bonk and bonk. Okay, okay. I mean, that's a pretty good first round. I tell you what. But yeah, the problem with Uno is that he has projectiles, but his, his projectiles are qu quite quick out of the spirit thrust. There, they're quite weird to try and headbutt and time right in that way. Uh, and then he also, so he, you can you can gain meter off of. Oh god, you can gain meter off of headbutting his projectiles for sure. But it's kind of hard to do so consistently, right? And wait, oh, I don't have headbutts. I was like, what? Does my button not work? We, uh, and also, he he then also has you know big normals to try and zone the diva out, just like how Fairy does, right? So like he's both a projectile and a normal zoner. And his, like, the, the stuff that normally helps Ladiva out against projectile zoners is not quite as effective uh, for her. This, I'm gonna block this in time, I think. Yeah, one of them one of them safe jabs. Oh, but I, you know what? But I should've spot dodged that to actually get a punish. Highly unfortunate stuff for me there. Highly unfortunate stuff, if I dare say so myself. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. I'm getting that hit a lot, and I'm not... Uh, this is not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, what, am, what the hell am I doing? Okay, okay, hold on, chance it. Uh, no chance. I'm, my, my chances are my chances are all gone. Oh yeah, that EX spear thrust is so quick. It's such a different timing for everything else. But his his parry. I mean, obviously his defense is parry based, right? Which makes it a little bit nicer for Ladiva to deal with because she can she can SPD through it, right? Uh, but also that his parry is very good, right? It is still a very even even for Ladiva, who's pretty good against parries. His parry is still a big problem, I would say. Bonk, bonk. So yeah, his, his neutral is, is very difficult for her to deal with in the sense that, um, bonk, 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 get down here. Uh, in the sense that he, he can both projectile zone her and normal zone her, and, and, and both his projectile zoning is some of the hardest for her to deal with, I think. And then obviously normal zoning is just always a, a nightmare for Lodiva. But normally where like I would say, oh, a normal zoner, just sit on the other side of the screen and don't, don't respect anything they do, right? Oh, wow, he just ran under me, the absolute mad lad. He just ran under me to get more space. I can't believe this. This is minus. Oh, but he covered it with parry. Oh, but he's, he's not, but I'm getting, I'm getting. He's also got that that his, that EX spin of his. It's actually a pretty scary throw bait move, right? So if he guesses command grab on me sometimes, it can be really nasty for me real quick, like. Okay. Oh, got once again. Oh, okay, but chance to, chance to. I'm blocking this. Good, sir. 
Oh man, that really didn't even punish, huh? I, again, I really should be uh, spot dodging some of these more so than I'm uh, than I'm blocking them. You've seen you've seen how things can go horribly awry for me when I just block. Oh no, is this gonna be a kill? No, he didn't. If he had if he had the U, oh nice. If he had the U uh, spear thrust, he could have converted off of that. Yeah, I need to be. I really need to get in the habit of spot dodging these super sky belt darts or like rolling behind them or something because uh, blocking them, especially like it's, it's happened twice in a row now with blast where I've, I've sort of called out him doing the reversal super or reversal of some kind and just lost for it anyway, unfortunately, right? Because I'm not I'm not properly answering them. A lot of the skybound darts in this game are sort of designed in that way. I think it's kind of weird design to be honest. It's kind of like like reversals or, or skybound darts or anything like that that are like not a free punish if you block them as i've always been a weird bit of a design in space in my opinion but it is it exists in this game and we have to we have to play around that right so we need to uh ow 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 we need to we need to be spot dodging things more often than we currently are is he gonna jump no i thought he was gonna do the uh, the throw bait move he did not do the throw bait move okay that's taking a brave point off of him at the very least he's gonna shoot a projectile but it's gonna be too slow oh he didn't even shoot the projectile i mean okay this is another thing chip distance yeah chip distance versus onray is like a nightmare like there's just no way like when, you, when you're on when you're on chip versus this character there's like there, unless he's like literally one combo away from death and you just can get a lucky hit it's like it's so cursed man it's 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 so over bros okay okay that's plus on block get bonked nerd get bonked his his parry follow-ups that's one thing his parry follow-ups do happen regardless of whether or not you tap it right so if you if you see him parry you can oh yeah that's what i'm saying when his headbutts his his projectiles are, are, are at a weird timing it's a difficult thing for ladiva to actually try and headbutt there so it's hard to actually build meter like we normally would like to do by just headbutting projectiles right oh i don't have headbutts again i'm like hitting the headbutt i'm hitting the light headbutt button and nothing is coming out i'm like why but yeah it's because i didn't even have the cooldown ready unfortunately oh god Hmm, this is, uh, this is spooky. Spooky times. To be sure, and there's, yeah, there's 66H losing to 66L. Good reaction by him there to notice that I was committing to a big, stupid option. And I'm dead? Whoa, goddamn, nice conversion, Blast. Goddamn, okay, fair enough. Well, Blast Tamber unfortunately cooks me there, but yeah. I mean, the main thing that I think I can take away from that, honestly, is just that, like, you gotta, you gotta spot dodge those Skybound darts, man. It's tough. It's, 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 a, it's a, it's a hard time to be alive with some of those Skybound darts. Like, if you don't, if you're just blocking them. Like, I, the, I, I got two blocks there and didn't get a punish, which, which hurts a lot, right? But I just have to be spot dodging, uh, on some of the, because, like, it is pretty obvious, first, uh, some of them, it's a little bit more ambiguous, but a lot of the ones, like, it's pretty obvious when you can just, like, be, basically keep spamming spot dodge like this and you'll be fine, right? And then just, it doesn't push you back. Uh, but otherwise, besides that, the matchup I think is just kind of really, really hard, man. Like, I think Uno is, he's got, like, the, sort of the, the, the perfect storm of all of, like, the horrendous stuff the Ladiva hates. He's both a projectile zoner, projectile zoning is difficult to deal with. He's got good normal zoning, so you can't just sit there, uh, sorry. He's a normal zoner, which is hard to deal with, but you can't just sit there on the other side of the screen, because he's also a projectile zoner, so he'll just, he'll gladly just shoot, uh, Spear Thrust at you the whole time. He's got, uh, pretty good ways to deal with Command Grab and that jumping EX spin there, like, it's tough. It's tough. I definitely, I need to, we, I, I ran a first attempt with Blast. I honestly like to do like another one even just because it is like so, I need a lot of matchup experience in that matchup because it just feels very, very miserable for Ladiva. Bonk. Oh, okay. Charlotte, on the other hand, is uh, not quite as bad because she is one of the characters who wants to do what we want to do. She just wants to run right into our loving arms. Funny enough, they jumped there. After two headbutts, I'm uh, even on block, which for a character like Charlotta, I got baited, but it worked out. That's actually unfortunate. I don't really enjoy when that happens to me, when I kind of get that sort of undeserved right uh, offense, but it happens. Not a crime to be lucky. I just wish that I wouldn't get my brave. Like, I don't, I don't mind that I got the hit. I just I, I mind that I, I still got my brave counter baited, right? I really want to be better about that. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those things where I just need like more, a lot more experience in that Uno matchup, man. It feels like so miserable. This should be very punishable. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. And that's a dead Charlotta. Yeah. Charlotta, again, a lot easier of a matchup, right? Any rushdown character where, where like, far L is, like, a real option for Ladiva, right? I feel like that's a big deal. Like, if she can far L you and have it be, like, a tool in neutral, then she's not doing she's not doing so bad. Like this, right? And that leads into the, that 50-50 right there of striker throw. Like, if she can far L you in neutral and, again, have it be, like, a reasonable real neutral option and not just, like, a huge risk every time, uh oh, uh, then I don't, think, I don't think the matchup could do, it can be, like, really any worse than, than even for Ladiva. Uh, let's not stand up into Demon Flip here if we can if we can help it. We've been doing that a couple of times, and I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, okay, the anti anti air there is not the scariest. I got my Brave counter baited again. The anti anti air there is not the scariest thing in the world. It's why I just I always two H Demon Flip on reaction, right? But yeah, unfortunately, then get, getting my uh, my Brave counter baited was was very silly stuff. For me. It happened again, and it, you know what? It worked out for me again, and I still don't uh, I still don't like it. I still don't deserve it. You gonna DP? No. You gonna try to raging strike me like an absolute mad lad, an absolute mad woman, an absolute mad Harvin? Okay, you take one or more of their brave points off. Huh. Oh, I could have converted off of that if I did ultimate clothesline, but I simply was not prepared. Neutral jump. 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 Okay, fair. What are you doing? What's the what's the what's the move? What's the plan? Okay. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh my god. Okay, okay. What if I did it again? What? What? 
Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay, okay, okay. That run-up headbutt was definitely a very like it was a silly option. But the idea was it was it was like we have been we have been stationary for so long there that I figured they wouldn't quite be ready for some like some nasty shit, right? <laughs> Basically. And it worked. After that though, I, I was trying to play very, very defensive there, right? Like I didn't I didn't go in because I wanted to respect the potential of them trying to DP me. So I didn't just go in and try to murder them. I kind of spaced out there and was just hitting uh mud. Once I oh god, once you have the corner position like that, right? You can just kind of the worst thing you can do is lose the corner. So I was just trying to not lose the corner, essentially. Oh, I, I stood up into it, man. I stood I, again. I, 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 every time I talk about demon flip, the, the one, this, it's not, it's not even that scary of a move. I promise. You just have to not stand up into it. And I, for some reason, can't help but stand up into it. I got my brave counter baited again. This is horrible. I like, I really need to like the brave standing up to demon flip. Oh well, it's just a bad habit. This brave counter bait stuff, though. I feel like I've been doing a lot better about that recently, and now I'm just like, nah. My brain said no. What if I just, uh, what if I just brave counter preemptively every time, like a goddamn fool, with with my pants on the ground and, my, and the gold in my mouth and my hats on sideways? What do you guys think? I stood up at the demon flip again. Luckily, they didn't do the grab, but it's still very, very silly stuff of me. Get away from me. That's, see, that time they were actually committed to something that very clearly was uh, brave counter safe. Which is why that was not such a horrible time to brave counter. Bonk. There you go. Demon flip is really not that scary, man. You just have to not be a complete idiot like I am. Which, unfortunately, I oftentimes am a complete idiot. It seems to be out of my control at times. Huh. Okay. Fair. Nice. I could have gotten a better conversion off of that, too. That was a counter hit. Far L there. I could have gotten far M, right? And uh, into uh, into clothesline, into anything, right? Counter hit far L does go into far M. I just didn't hit confirm that I had a counter hit until it was too late. Uh, this is gonna hit me. Okay. It's hard to punish that, again, if you don't spot dodge it. That's another one of them S SBAs that we do need to spot dodge to punish. That will be, however, a very easy punish on that DP at the, on the bright side. But yeah, you have to you have to you have to spot dodge the way down there. But I back, back dashing is honestly probably not the best option there, just because it doesn't beat like it loses to like he's not a grappler. It's not it's not SSBA right. It's not Lediva SSBA. So back dashing there was probably a pretty silly idea in the, in the grand scheme of things, right? Uh, and it, it put me into a position where even if I had spot dodged that, I still would have been in a. That's fine. Again, that anti anti air option is not particularly scary. And once again, there we don't stand up in the demon flip, and we are immediately rewarded with the corner of all things on this Charlotta. Get grab nerd. Okay, they're gonna DP out. What do you guys think? What the hell? 6 h I think? Is what they did there? Okay, that's fair. Didn't get my Brave counter baited on the bright side. Again, I'm not just letting the Charlotta run up to me and bait that. I really could have punished that a lot more prodigiously. Ow, ow, ow. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, okay, I was gonna say don't get a wall bounce. They did get a wall bounce, which I'm not a fan of, but it happened. That is how that is how that went down. Okay, I'll hold this. It's minus. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do headbutts, but it worked. They must have jumped. They must have thought I was gonna SPD or something. It worked out for me, I suppose. That was definitely, I meant to do headbutts and my sloppy inputs. I need to stop doing that, by the way, too. They've been, like, spacing that out very well and then just blowing me up for my trouble. Uh, bonk, bonk. Get wrecked, nerd. I was waiting exactly to have 25% meter there so I could do the raging strike. Uh, how do I kill here? This is my best shot, I think. I could have done another, oh, no, I couldn't have done another, another raging strike. Yeah, I wasn't, I still, I still didn't kill. Okay. Okay, okay. Bonk. What are, you, what are you thinking? Again, I'm just... The worst thing I can do right now is... Oh, well, stand up into Demon Flip. I was going to say the worst thing I can do right now is lose the corner. But actually, the worst thing I can do, probably, is stand up into Demon Flip. There, at least I didn't get my Brave counter baited there. Oh, my God. My 2M that I didn't recover in time. Fair enough. I waited for the, I was. I thought they were going to DP. They didn't immediately. I, I was like, okay, I'm going to poke you with a 2M real quick. And then they DP'd, and it was ultimate DP. So I actually did not recover fast enough to block out of that 2M. Well done stuff to uh, Charlotta there. Obviously, the the big reason the reason we lost that game is not that last interaction. It was standing up to demon flip like a like a fool, right? Again, so that's 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 a bit unfortunate for sure. But I suppose I suppose these things happen. Get Rexner, and by wrecked I mean grabbed. Okay, DP, that's fair. You just have to this this Charlotte like runs and then jumps or does demon flip at you a lot. That's something I just have to be a lot more careful. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly just that's a 50-50 between. Ah, God damn, there it happened again. My brave, I don't know why like Charlotta in particular. It just baits my brave counter in ways that I I don't I, no one no one else does apparently. Uh, this is gonna connect, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I thought for a second it looked like it was kind of a, a bit of a weird timing there, but no, no. They, they were fine. Oh god, I got my Brave counter baited again. It did actually work out for me again, but like it still doesn't mean that it was a good thing. I'm gonna bop you, I'm gonna bop you, I'm gonna bop you, I'm gonna bop you, I'm gonna do two of them. Oh my god, it actually kind of worked out. Uh, you are fine, so I'm not gonna spend too many resources here, because now you're dead. There you go, there you go. They uh, the EX uh, air grab there wouldn't have killed them, right? Which is why I just, I was like, you know what? Just like go over there, and I'll deal with you later. I don't want to use any of my cooldowns or anything like that. Whoa. Okay, not bad. Get grabbed. Okay, fair enough. Ultimate or EX close on there was just like very, very belligerently trying to like keep my turn going even after I got guessed on my command grab, right? So it was definitely not the uh, oh baby, not the smartest option for us. Nice delay there on the EX headbutt. Make them make them think twice about what they want to do. Unblock and we did catch them. I think trying to jump out of a command grab potentially. Ow, ow, ow. Fair enough. Demon flip at me. Run at me. Jump at me. Anything. Potter. 
Anything? Kramer? Uh, Bueller? That's, that's a little, uh, I'm thinking of too many different characters. That is... Oh god, that's even on block, so Chalada with her 5 frame light should definitely be able to beat me out there. But I guess they must have done like a medium or something. I'm not sure. Get all three there. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Ultimate DP, that's fine. Takes away some of her, her bites, potentially, on some of the hits that she could randomly get on us. Get away from me. Again, wait for them to actually commit to something. That's, uh, that's murderable there. Jump at me, please. I want to air, I want to air SPD you. If you run at me and jump, I'm going to try to air SPD you. But I don't know if you are actually going to do that. 6 6 H Into a clash? What? what? I was not ready for that to be a clash. Okay. I, I, like, I definitely could have blocked that, right? I had the time. But I thought I was just going to... I thought I already got hit. I did not think it would clash. What the hell? Good to know, I suppose. What in God's name? Okay, okay, nice. We we get the better of them there in in the neutral in the exchange of blows. I wait, what? That clash? Oh, bonk. Oh, okay. Slightly missed time there, but again, demon flip. As long as you just stay crouching and two A shit, it's really not that bad of a move. That's plus one. We gotta respect that. If she does six hits, it's plus one. If she does three, it's minus. Oh my God, we crushed that her EX special with our five H. Is Charlotte's attack level is just, like, really low or something? Look, I'm, I'm, like, interacting. I'm clashing and crushing with things that I really don't think I should be. Okay. That's minus. Yep. That's actually... Oh, it's, like, punishable minus. Damn. I thought it was a, I thought that was going to be another one of those cases where, like, you know, either she does DP and, and uh, hits me for it, or I take a turn back. That, no, that's, like, straight-up punishable minus. I see. Get away from me. Any Skybound Darters? No, no, fine. I'm not going to take any, any big risks here. I'm going to wait for you to commit to something, except I'm going to delay tech way too early, unfortunately. I guess we weren't in the corner, so things could have been worse. Nice. Oh, goddamn. Oh, goddamn. Double goddamn. I got my launching 2H there, but I, did, I wasn't ready to, uh, to, to combo off of it. Oh, my God. I dashed up in neutral and died for it. That's very unfortunate. Ow, my face. My face. I Again, unfortunately, we lose to a missed hit confirm there. It's getting to be a problem, for sure, right? It's going to be a problem where we like get a bunch of hits and we just like don't get the kills off them. But I suppose it happens, right? We're, we're gonna we know what our combos are. We're just like every now and then we're in in those really clutch moments can be a little bit difficult sometimes to fully realize it. To be fair, also that two H launcher there, like that's not a hit that I'm like super used to. Like I don't even. I, I mean, you could you could you could have done any. You could have done this, right? If I had that, I think I had that cooldown. You could have done this too. Oh, sorry. Well, not that, but this, right? A lot of different things. So there are there are definitely a lot of different starters we could get there. I just that is still a bit of a strange hit for me. I you you I must admit. Anyways, all that being said, that's going to be uh, one another video in the books here. I mean, I feel like we overall, I'm not like, I'm not like terribly pleased with how we were playing today, but it happens, right? I feel like we're not playing horribly, right? So there's a lot of, there's a lot of like random little things like in those really important moments that we're just not doing very well, which is, it happens, it happens, right? I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll survive. I'll live. We're overall, I think we're still learning. We're still getting better every, in every match here. It's just that sometimes, you know, pro again, progress is never a, a straight line that just goes up and to the right, right? You're going to have, it's going to look like this. When you zoom out... Or you zoom out like a couple months, yeah, it goes up into the right. But day to day, even like session, like again, this was 30 minutes. I feel like I played better like the last 30 minutes than I did in this 30 minutes. And these are all these are all in the same day in the same session, right? It kind of looks like this a little bit, right? But we're not we're not we're not doing too badly. So I'm I'm still pretty happy with it overall. Well, that being said, if you made it this far in the video, as always, I got four things for you. you know how it is. For number one, uh, join the Discord server. Link down there in the description for you. It's a great time. You can hang out, talk about fighting games, talk about uh, the gotcha game, talk about relink, talk about Elden Ring, talk about art, music, whatever the hell you want to talk about. It's just a nice community for you to talk and hang out and make friends. So I encourage you to join. But I also encourage if you will please keep uh, it the currently nice and welcoming place that it is. Everyone in there is super nice. Nobody's really been moderated or banned or anything, but if I have to ban somebody, I will. And if it has to be you, then I will ban you. So don't let it be you. Uh, for number two, if you liked the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. It greatly helps the channel, and I appreciate it a lot, of course, while you're there. Number three, that subscribe button, that bell button. They are right down there, right next to that like button that you should be hitting. Uh, and they'll keep you up to date with all of this content that I'm throwing out every day. We got three videos coming out every single day, two and a half to five hours of content every single day. Uh, so unless you have all that time for me every single day, which I was, uh, you know, if you do, I love you. But most of you, that's not the case. Um, I recommend you hit those two buttons, get notified when something new is uploaded, and go back and watch it if it's either particularly interesting to you or if you're just having a lot of free time that day. And of course, for number four, most importantly, more important than buttons to smash or whatever YouTube-friendly interactions you hit me with, I appreciate those, but hope you had a great time hanging out today, most of all. I know I sure did, right? Again, we're not playing, like, at our peak right now, but again, it's, 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 it's how it goes, right? You progress, you regress, you progress, you regress, and overall, I think we're still, like, we're still playing, like, at a, at a, at a good level. It's just, again, in those, like, clutchest moments where we're dropping a lot of things, it feels like. At least that's my general impression. When I go back and I'm, I'm, I did turn on auto-saving replays, so I can go back and watch a lot of these. It might be that there's even more, like, it's not just at the ends there, but... You know, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm still I'm still having a lot of fun with Granblue. I'm still there's going to be a lot more coming your way for sure. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.